right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Power. I've got a couple of interesting stories for you guys today. The first story that I have for you guys today, Mr. Hadi Chupin. It's been a while since we've talked about Hadi. Hadi posted a recent update on his YouTube channel. Now, in the title of this update, this says Hadi Chupin update, the latest update of his condition prior to the 2021 Mr. Olympia. And I think Hottie looks fantastic in this update. By the way, subscribe to Hottie's YouTube channel if you have not already. It's just Hottie Chupin on YouTube. But I think Hottie looks phenomenal here. And what are we now, about 16 weeks out from the Olympia? And look, let's be totally honest here. Hottie was fourth place at last year's Olympia behind Phil Heath, who took third. And I think in all reality, you could have made a very strong argument for Hottie beating Phil. Phil is one of the greatest Mr. Olympia champions we've ever had. Whether you love Phil or hate Phil, he's a seven-time Mr. Olympia. He's one of the best ever. And I think, honestly, in 2020 at the Olympia, you could have made a very strong argument for Hottie beating Phil. I was shocked that Hottie wasn't third place at the Olympia last year. To be, to be completely honest with you guys, I think Hottie deserved third. Now, I say that to make the point that I think Hottie can win the Olympia. I think he will be a Mr. Olympia winner in the near future. And if you look back from 2017 to 2020, there has been a new Mr. Olympia winner in each of those four years. Phil Heath won in 2017. The following year in 2018, he lost his title to Sean Roden. That's two. Then in 2019, Brandon Curry won the Olympia. And then of course, in 2020, Big Rami. That is four Mr. Olympia champions in the span of four years, four different Olympia champions. And I honestly think that this year, there will be another new champion. And if there is, I think the highest probability of a new guy winning the Olympia title, if there is a new guy winning this year, if it's not Phil, if it's not Brandon, if it's not Rami, assuming Sean Roden doesn't come back, Hadi Chupin would be my pick to be the next Mr. Olympia champion in 2021. And I honestly mean that. Like this video if you agree with me. If you think Hadi Chupin could potentially win the Olympia title, thumbs up this video. I think Hadi is extremely complete. He brings a level of conditioning that I think is that top-tier Olympia-level condition that we've been missing um, in so many competitors for such a long time. And Hadi brings that year after year. Even with all the inconveniences, the visa stuff, the travel issues, all that stuff, Hadi still doesn't fail to bring that crazy conditioning. And on top of that, super muscular guy. He's about as muscular as you could be for a frame like Hadi has. So again, thumbs up the video if you want to see Hadi win the Olympia. And if not, comment in the comment section down below where you think Hadi will place at the 2021 Mr. Olympia. Now, next up in the news, let's talk about this latest physique update from Nick Walker. This side chest here, which I think is a direct response to all the beef that he has now with Sergio Oliva Jr. We know that Sergio has been very critical of the recent lineups in bodybuilding, saying they were weak lineups, including the New York Pro, which Nick Walker won. So Nick not only posted this physique update 17 weeks out from the Olympia, which he has already qualified for, of course, from that New York Pro victory, and he says in the caption, nothing weak is coming in 17 weeks. Now, Sergio has made it no secret that he kind of has a problem with Nick now because Nick kind of released. He was the one that kind of leaked the information that Sergio was apparently not doing the Chicago Pro and instead doing the Arnold Classic. So in Sergio's video yesterday, I think he addressed Nick to a very lengthy extent. And I think this post that he posted yesterday was also a direct um, address towards Nick. And he says, people get so upset when you say the facts. I'm sorry, I'm talking about your favorite bodybuilder. I think he's referring to Nick here. It doesn't mean I'm lying when I say the shows have been weak and I'm not attacking anyone. I said it's not the winner's fault. They still killed it, which I agree with. I like Sergio a lot. I'm really excited to see him compete. I am not one of the people that reported on him not doing the Chicago Pro before he announced it himself. But I think one of the things that me and Sergio disagree on is I fully believe that Nick Walker has the potential to crack the top six or at least make the first call out at this year's Mr. Olympia. I fully believe that. And that is only if he brings New York Pro prejudging level conditioning or better to the Olympia. I fully believe he could crack the first call out. 
But Sergio, I don't think, feels that way. And again, this post, I think, is directed a little bit towards Nick. He says, um, I'm not attacking anyone. I said it's not the winner's fault. They still killed it. I even said it's no one's fault, really. We all got screwed by the virus, so people are getting their lives together and couldn't do the beginning shows. But I just wanted to post this picture of Sas Harati when he got fifth at the New York Pro. This is what fifth looks like. And obviously, Sas Harati looks fantastic. His conditioning is crazy. He looks like he's carved out of stone. And, and this was what fifth place at the New York Pro looked like. And obviously, a picture from the New York Pro, I think, is another sign that this was uh, targeted towards Nick. And I think, admittedly, the New York Pro lineup was weak. I think a lot of people would admit that they were disappointed by the conditioning that we saw in New, in New York and by the number of competitors that we saw in New York. And this is, is this not necessarily anybody's fault. Like Sergio is saying here, I think the virus kept a lot of people from being able to travel. Some of these shutdowns and lockdowns and restrictions, um, I think, kept a lot of people from being able to compete in New York that would have otherwise competed. I think New York only had 11 competitors this year. And typically, this is a show. The New York Pro, in some years, has 30 competitors. The New York Pro is a lineup that's usually 20, 25, 30, sometimes even more than that. And this year, I believe it was 10 or 11 total competitors. But I still got to say, even given the weak lineup, I still feel that Nick absolutely nailed it. He did exactly what he needed to do, regardless of the rest of the lineup. I think Nick looked fantastic. He looked way better than he looked at the Chicago Pro last year. His conditioning was better. He had such deep separation in his legs. He had all this crazy detail. And of course, he's got the mass. I think Nick really did nail it. And I think if he can nail it like that, or better, at the Olympia, I really do think he can make the first call out. Now, I believe in Sergio's video, he said he had Nick uh, maybe in the 7 through 10 position at best. And I would probably agree that's the most likely scenario. I think Nick could crack the top 6. Will he is another question. 7 through 10 is probably a more realistic placing for your first Olympia, if you're a fantastic bodybuilder, which Nick is. But I got to say, I would really love to see Nick versus Sergio at the Arnold Classic a couple weeks prior to the Olympia. I think that would be an awesome rivalry. And so far, Nick has a really good track record with his rivalries when it comes to actual contest placings. And Sergio is certainly no slouch. Now, next up in the news, Hunter Labrada. Six weeks out from the Chicago Pro which is the main show that we've been talking about the past couple of days. The show that Sergio is not doing that caused all this drama that we've been talking about the past couple of days, Hunter is still doing that show. Akeem is still doing that show. Charles Griffin is still doing that show. And this is Hunter's six weeks out physique update showing off again. I think he's in really good shape. I think Hunter is going to bring it. I think he's going to be shredded. I think his conditioning is going to be on point. And I think now that Sergio is out of this lineup, I think in all actuality, the most probable top two here will be Hunter and Akeem. Hunter, who was eighth place at the 2020 Mr. Olympia. Akeem, who was sixth place at the 2020 Mr. Olympia. The Chicago Pro is going to be a fantastic show, and Hunter, I really do believe. He looks like he is completely nailing it. He's going to bring it. He's shredded. He's vascular. He's vascular. Six weeks out, he looks like he's almost ready to step on stage, put a tan on the guy, and he's good to go. I think Hunter looks phenomenal here. Now, the final story that I have for you guys today, a sneak peek of Keon Pearson six weeks out from the Chicago Pro, where he will be attempting to earn his back-to-back -back Chicago Pro titles and a qualification for the 212 Mr. Olympia this year. Now, he's only showing his legs in this physique update. I have seen a full posing video of Keon. And let me tell you guys, he's going to be ready. He looks fantastic. I can't show you guys the video. They didn't want me to leak it out yet, but let me tell you guys, I've seen the full posing video. Keon looks incredible. He's going to kill this show. He's going to nail it. And in my opinion, Keon is going straight to the 212 Mr. Olympia this year. Based on what I have seen behind the scenes of how Keon is looking, there's no question in my mind he is winning the Chicago show and he's going to the Olympia. And if he nails his conditioning at the Olympia, I've got Keon top three. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you did, in fact, enjoy it. If you want to support the channel, the easiest way to do so 
is to smash that like button. Let's get to 10,000 likes. Push this video into the algorithm. It is the easiest, cheapest, freest way to support the channel. So as always, I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. Nick Strength and Power, signing out.